Good day, human Lottie was like, this is the Lottie Oza Zubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby Unlock. Here we are in Falriver Town. Last time, we found that Pika is the cutest of Pokemon in Hoenn, apparently. Now let's find out if she is also the cleverest. Or most clever, whatever the right terminology is. Who knows? That said, let's do this. Oh yeah, all right, so, let's rediscover that charm of Pokemon and do this. So Pika, here we go. Category Cleverness. Oh yeah. So we're going to have a few rounds to get through here. I'm hoping we can do well. We don't have that many clever moves to begin with, so here's hoping. Here is definitely hoping. So. Lauren and Wiz. Yes, there is no beating that Wizmer because it's the Wiz. Oh, right. Moving on. Declan and Ninny. Let me guess, Ninkata. Yep, it definitely is tough to be a bug. Oh, right. Next up is going to be Martinus and Zunbi. That's off to you, buddy. All right, and finally, it is going to be us and Pika. Oh, yeah. That is one intelligent-looking Pikachu. There you have it. Okay, that's got to get the audience excited. Say so the audience of use first. Eh, what the heck. What the heck, indeed. That should, I think, get us two um, stars, right? There we go. There we go. All right. That's a smart move to use, all right. So, either that or if everyone in this competition uses smart moves, then we're in trouble. But, um, sorry if I call clever moves smart. Oh, you decided to, to, to upscale us, didn't you? That was, that was actually smarter than smart. That was tough. Okay. Um... <laughs> nice job, Wiz. Nice job, indeed. Oh, right, so Zoombie's gonna get some hearts for that. Didn't do quite as well, though, but is clever enough to, to, to get that heart, so hey. Uh, you never know what you can do sometimes. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. You never know. That said... Let's, um, let's, let's, let's sleep talk here. Let's rest talk a little bit. I don't want to set up for someone else to win this. That would be a little bit unfortunate. Let them set up for each other. Confuse Ray! Does that confuse the order of the next turn, I think? Or is it just... <laughs> yeah, you can't startle me. I'm sorry, Zoom B. Nice try, though. But no, you can't. No, you can't do that. No, you can't. So, you're gonna mud slap. I don't think that's very smart. I can't imagine it's very smart. Taunt. <laughs> Not gonna happen. No one here is going for special stuff. Oh, you're gonna sleep talk. You didn't rest before, though, so you're, you're not gonna do very much. Sorry. Sorry, Wiz. I'm not gonna be able to sleep talk off our rest. Doesn't work that way, and I apologize. So let's let's do this. I put hidden power, but what's the point? Since someone else is probably gonna go for a smart move first. I apologize. I understand they did change smart to clever. I think I already did say that. But whatever the case, my memory's pretty bad. So what are you gonna do? Zoombie's gonna leech life. Is that smart? I feel like I'm always guessing. That's gotta be smart. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. Okay. That was that's one clever bat. Keen skies. Cool. Good for you. Or not not cool. Smart. Or clever. Clever. Definitely clever. Clever. Indeed. 
Now get astonished. Come on, just get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> All right, let's go for a sleep talk to not get Jack Pika. Okay. We already won this round. It's kind of an it's it's kind of not really one that we could lose. But hey, what are you gonna do? Okay, that worked out. I, I you really can't imagine us losing this one. Sights the audience a lot if used first. Okay. What the hey? Might as well uh, get two on that excite meter because what the heck not? Or why not, should I say? I feel like I'm always talking about the pre evolution of Lava Fat. Either way, you're gonna confuse Ray. That's that's unfortunate. Pika, don't get startled too badly, please. Eh, whatever. Still better off than if we went for rest, so I can't really complain too much. Screech! Oh dear god. Oh dear goodness, that can't be good. Pika, don't be too annoyed by that. <laughs> nice try dazzling the audience. Nice try indeed. Alright. Mud slap! <laughs> Just throwing mud. This, this really is, uh... Starting to result into the, uh... Okay. Alright, Pico, let's let, let's win this one now. Hidden power away. I don't know what kind of hidden power Pika has, actually. But... There we go. So we're gonna fill up that Excite Meter and go for a special rendition of a... Something. I don't know. Whatever your extraordinary talent is. Electrodynamic... Something. Okay. Okay, Pika. Okay. Nice job. You're probably gonna get startled. Yep, Wiz, you, you couldn't just keep your astonishment to yourself. Alright, well, Pika, it still wasn't bad. It still was not bad. So, whatever. At the very least, you kept the the, the little Ninkata from getting its it, and from doing its activity or whatever talent, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Okay, so Zundi, you're gonna leech life to yeah, it's got it. and that doesn't bore it bores the audience if the if a Pokemon uses the same move twice in a row, but it doesn't bore them if it uses the sec the same move right after another Pokemon. That makes no sense. I guess it would be a little bit unfair to, to judge them based on what the other Pokemon does. And it would be a little bit in, um, too complicated to win. But still, that's, that's just weird. They're more bored by something four turns later than something, um, you know, one turn later. Either way, like I said, Martinus and Zunbi, that's off to you. But for now, congratulations, Pika has won the competition, and that is one very bright picture. But, you know what? That's fine. Pika, nice try. Uh, actually, nice job. And you lost three from that, but there we go. With that, Pika is going to win the, and have access to the Super Rank Cleverness Contest. So, let's move on to the Super Rank. Because, why not? So, yes. Cleverness... And super! Yes! Okay. Let's change our costume into our cool looking costume. And let's go. Cleverness Contest Super Rank! Oh yeah. Okay, so Brody and Bulltop. Because that top definitely has a ball. Okay, so moving on! Next is entry number two, Chaz and Mockery! Because, well, Chaz just can't stay out of these competitions for some reason. Uh, Rohan and Spin Master! Just be careful not for your Spin Master not to lose its balance. And of course, Pika. 
All right, Pika. Nice job. That's got to dazzle the audience a little bit. Get them on their feet. Get those people dancing. But of course, if you're in the audience watching uh, Pokemon compete, I don't understand why you'd be dancing. Um, I'm probably the last person to judge this. I can't dance. But that's besides the point. Let us go for Electric Terrain and get those five hearts to start off this competition. Oh, yeah. Contest, competition, same thing. I use words interchangeably, but that probably shouldn't be. Oh, you're going to sleep us low. Well, that's okay. Actually, that kind of sucks, because Pika is a little bit short, so... Oh, right! You're going to make a real mockery out of this competition, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you are. Okay, Chaz, please stop. The good thing is, Chaz, I don't think, can attract Pika, which is kind of good, because Pika is female. Unfortunately, you're not going to taunt anyone. Sorry, uh, ball toy. That Spin Master just isn't quite getting it. Not dazzling that audience, sorry. Sorry, audience just isn't reacting. Sometimes things just don't go well. What can you do? Alright, you know what? Let's I kinda want a hidden power. Just in case. Just in case. The op the probability of us actually getting the spectacular talent is really low. But just in case. You're gonna dance. Huh. That's, that's a little bit, uh, I don't know, that's, uh, whatever. Attract. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, well. I don't think you can unnerve people. What? You can? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, Chaz. Please stop bothering me. Alright, let's try this again. You can't move after using Teeter Dance? I didn't know that. Hmm. Live and learn. Live and learn. Go for low sweep, please. Thank you! Alright, that works out for us. A, it'll hurt that ball toy. B, it'll let us fill up the Excite Meter. So, Chaz, you screwed us over before, but in the long run, I think it still sort of helped us. Sort of, maybe, I don't know. I really don't know. That said, let's fill up that slight meter with cleverness. So, the one really taken with Pika's cleverness, extraordinary cleverness is radiating to electric dynamic archives. There we go. That's what it is. That's the ticket. Oh, I get it. Because of the uh, data. <laughs> okay. All right, so with that, that actually is kind of nice. So, I kind of want to rest talk, to be honest, to finish this competition off, to be totally honest. I mean, I quit Electric Terrain. Eh, what the heck. What the heck. I mean, it's not like it's, it's not like Mockery can even go for a low sweep again. It just went for one. So, hopefully it attracts and gets the double, uh, nerve. There's the attract. Exactly what I was hoping for. Come on. Make them nervous, please. Please make both nervous. <laughs> You're gonna fail now. Wow, that is one horrible machoke. But that's okay. So, this ball toy's gonna go for some, for some hardening. Get really hard. Which is interesting, because it's genderless, I'm pretty sure. But that's besides the point. Okay, you're going to start eating some dreams. Eat those dreams right up, you spin master, you! Okay. So, <laughs> best option would be electric terrain, which we can't do. Hidden power would not be bad, but you know what? I think I'm better off actually just resting, to be totally honest, because hidden power... Low sleep would be a problem. But it would be less likely 
for the Machoke to get the, uh, to get the Amphibolic um, Excite Meter. So I'm just gonna go for the rest. I don't want to fill up an Excite Meter right now. I know in the end it's gonna cost us, but at the same time, yeah, plus you're gonna Dizzy Punch. Actually, Dizzy Punch doesn't, uh, startle the Pokemon, so whatever. You're gonna just slap some mud. Nice try. I don't know who you're gonna taunt. Whatever. Yeah, there's the low sweep. Can't say I didn't see it coming. Can't say I didn't see it coming. But it wouldn't have affected us, actually, so... I mean, in the end... Um, I don't regret the uh, decision to go for rest, mostly because then Mockery would have only ended up getting an extra four hearts. We would have gotten an extra, I think, three. But still, whatever. Still, let's not regret our decisions. Here we go. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> yes, that was... We won that pretty well, I must say. That was that that was that was a pretty good win. Um, well, pretty far lead, should I say? So with that, we are going to have we'll move on to hyper rank of the cleverness contest. Fair enough. Let's move on then. Let us enter uh, the smart, clever contest for Pika the Pikachu. Cleverness. Oh yeah. No, cleverness. There we go. That's the ticket hyper rank. Let's do this. We want to get into that master rank contest, but in order to get there, you got to get through three other contests. Why? Who knows? So here we go. Hyper rank contest, and the contestants are Alejandra and Nombre. You are gonna be Nombre Quattro. Okay. All right. Addison and Mooney. Okay. Okay. That's that's a big rock. Um, and of course, Yoshinari and Crawly. What's the best name you got for a Viper, really? Crawly. And of course, entry number four is of course going to be Pika. Who was so clever that Pika that she actually gets her own sequence. Because because Pika's awesome. Alright. Let's move on to the talent round. Let's hit begin. So, let's start off with I kinda wanna lead off with the electric terrain because there's no reason not to. Alright, so, with that we're going to get five hearts right off the bat, and I get a feeling this is going to get a little, a little bit offensive. Yep, you're going to psych it. Does that startle the opponent? I get a bad feeling it does. Actually, it can't. That's, that did way too many hearts for it to actually startle. Psychic's definitely smart, though, or clever. Same deal. Knock off! That's going to hurt. Ah, oh, okay, oh good, it only hurts one at a time. That's nice. Okay. So Viper, please do not go for a clever move. Although I kind of know you already are. You're gonna thief. That's probably clever. That's definitely clever. Oh dear, that's not good. Whoa, that's not clever! I thought it was, wow! Alright, Pika. Let's, let, let's hit in power. <laughs> but let's hit in power, because why not? There we go. That is kind of nice. You get the filthy excite meter on turn two. That really does work out for us. So electric dynamic archives, it is. Nice job, Pika. Now just don't get um, too much damage taken. Venom drench. That can't be good. Sorry, Pika. Oh, taunt. Okay. I thought it was gonna startle. 
Sorry, I'm not that familiar with all of the moves in the contests, so I apologize that I may make some assumptions of things that are not quite true. But whatever the case. Whatever the case, let's just continue this competition. And you're gonna hypnosis. That does that nerf or uh, startle? I would think it would be more of a nerf. No startle. Oh man. Well, you know what? Everyone lost three, so okay. If it happened in a different turn, we would have lost. We would have been negative then, probably or closer to three. So whatever the case, let's just let's go for. Oh, we get another. We get to fill it up again. That is just awesome. That is so awesome. <laughs> Pika, this is just working out for you today. Well, in this comp in this contest. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> so, alright, time for spectacular talent. Let's pretend to give our archives again. The audience might be getting a little tired of this though, I have I have a bad feeling. Yeah, the only is can't get, can't get tired of a spectacular talent, but still, definitely worked out for us. Future Sight. That did a lot. Oh, okay, because it, it was the same type as, okay. Gotta have some uh, future vision to be able to get that right, I guess. Ooh, that is one nasty glare you're giving me. I'm not liking that nasty glare you're giving me, said Viper. Fake out! Is that... Is that startle, or...? But only startle's the one. Okay. Wow, that's how Viper got screwed over. <laughs> Pretty badly. Alright. Though I can't say I didn't have it coming. Alright, you know what? Let's... Let's... I don't know. I kind of want a hidden power. Rest talking would work, I think, but... Eh. Might as well hidden power, because... If we do well enough, then... Next turn we can go first, and... Do well. Possibly. I don't know. I really don't know. I would have rested if I was afraid of the uh, startling, of other startling Pika, but what can you do? All right. Natural gift. Okay. That's what are you gonna do? All right. Holy mackerel, that did some damage. That did some. Oh, because of the wound can. Alright, so I guess the Viper's gonna get him get this one. Eh, you win some, you lose some. We're gonna shock. How shocking! Ooh! That actually. I didn't know Venus Shock was beauty. I could definitely work with that. Alright, you know what? Let's let you train it then. Let's electric terrain it. It's the last move. I mean, actually, Hidden Power would have done the same amount, I think, here. Because Hidden Power can be used every turn, I believe. Cuteness. Oh, is that because it's that one of those moves that can... Huh. That is weird. Alright, so I guess Lunatone's gonna get this one. Alright, fair enough. Pika couldn't be able to do its sound on every turn, I guess. So, Madrigal. Cool! Or should I say, clever. Definitely clever. 
quite clever indeed. All right, Pika, let's go for that electric terrain. That will do, I think, if you four hearts total. It's only gonna bring up one of the excite meter because you're not first, but that's okay. Whatever. You are doing well enough. I'm pretty sure you don't need to end up doing too, too much here. All right, startling the others. Eh, whatever. You win some, you lose some. Either way, let's move on to the results. Oh yeah. So the results are in, and in fourth place is Crawley. In third place is Gnome Brain. Second place is Noony, and of course the winner is Pika. Nice job, Pika. All right. So that brings us to I guess the master rank. So now we have access to the master rank of the cleverness contest. Get some free stuff. That would all, that would be kind of nice. Maglost, Barry. You want to give us what? Lumio's Galette! Okay. Makes me hungry. I want some bread. Lemony, it makes me thirsty. I want a drink. You. Old Gatto, that makes me a little bit creeped out. That old chateau was weird. Probably the creepiest. Probably creepier, the creepier than the Pokemon Tower, to be honest, and Lavender Tower. Okay, at least music-wise, I think it is. That's just my opinion, though. Just an opinion, of course. Just an opinion. So, I guess these are portraits of Pokemon. Or should I say, our Pokemon that won the Master Rank. Contest, which so far it's been the same Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe we can get one to fill up this frame. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Let's enter. Now I get a bad feeling because this is Master Rank, so this could get a little bit difficult. Cleverness Contest. Master Rank. Oh yeah. So let's do this. It's all or nothing. Here we go. If we don't win, then we'll just try again. What are you going to do? That said, Cleverness Contest Master Rank. Let's do this. Entry number one, Elijah and Shargob. That is, that is one smart looking shark. Entry number two, Haley and Levelin. If we lose to a love disc, then I seriously... <laughs> I think I gotta reevaluate my life. Alright. Entry number three Madeline and Princess. That Illumise is. Well, I don't know. Probably a princess in its own, right? And of course, entry number four is our Pika. There we go. So, that said. Let's do this. Talent round uh, begin! Alright, so let's lead off with I think the electric terrain is probably a good option now because, well, this gives us the golden opportunity to, you know, get those five hearts when we can. Well, it, it can't hurt to have a lead. I think we so far we are in the lead, but that could easily turn around at any given moment. I'm kind of afraid of that Sharpedo, although oh, the love just does kind of scare me. Does that make things nervous, or does it startle them? A nerve. Um, okay. That princess apparently is a little bit nervous. Too nervous to move. You could have scold someone, that's... Eh. What are you gonna do? <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. That princess is really screwed over there. It pays to be in the front really does pay to be in the front sometimes. Alright, let's actually... I think I want to rest talk. I really think I want to rest talk. Because I get a feeling since they went for nervous moves last time, they're going to want to go for some startling moves this time. I could be wrong. You're going to sub. 
So you're gonna end up getting the Oblivious status as well. Assurance. Huh. Alright, well. Like I said, you win some, you lose some. Confuse Ray. There we go. That's the startling I expected. Okay. Of course, now someone else is going to be able to give off a grand appeal next turn. We're going to be last, so... Please don't be nervous. Let's leap talk. Please don't be nervous. Poison Fang. If that's not clever, I don't know what is. There we go. Alright. I was afraid of that Sharpedo. I've been afraid of that Sharpedo. I still am. Okay, clear Blessed Rain. You're gonna make something a drop fall, aren't you? Yep. I don't know what the deal with the numbers are there, but whatever. If numbers are involved, uh, 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 what are you gonna do? Okay. Should have gone for hidden power last time. I messed up. Play nice. <laughs> that did not do very much. Don't you dare. Okay. You're not gonna make us nervous then. You're just gonna psych up. So, okay. Whatever. Whatever indeed. Let's see if sleep talking actually works to our advantage. <laughs> that did absolutely nothing. That did not go over well at all. Pika, I'm sorry. That was that was pretty bad. Alright, well. Let's hidden power. Scald. Okay. That's not good. That's really not good. Don't you dare be nervous. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Alright. Well, now it's all up to what we can do to rebuild where we were before, because, like I said, I'm kind of scared about that Sharpedo. Because now we have to actually pull up of that Sharpedo. Okay, that's not good. Actually, I think it would only affect... Nah, that, that still affected us. But, assuming we go first, we're in really good shape. And we do go first, so we're actually in pretty good shape. We can go for the electric terrain now, and that'll get us the, um, the, uh, the, um, spectacular talent. So, I mean, that is actually quite nice. So, Electrodynamic Archives once again. Probably the last time we're gonna do this, to be honest. Not gonna lie. At least for this competition. Assuming we, assuming we end up somehow winning this contest. That's probably not gonna happen again. You wanna play nice? Princess, maybe that's why you're probably not gonna win, because you insist on playing nice. Um, whereas I'm pretty sure a lot of the competitors are gonna be playing a little bit rough. Poison Fang. That, that's gonna give you some hearts, alright. And, of course, there's the love disc, who's gonna just psych up. Wow, you're actually probably gonna do well from that. Yeah, because the Sharpedo did pretty well. Oh, and it was the same type of move, that's why. Either way, there we go. That is the end of the talent round. So, did we win, though? <laughs> Let's find out. With the results. So, coming in 4th place is Princess, in 3rd place is Lovelin, in 2nd place is Shargob, and in 1st place is Pika! That is the smartest, cleverest, cutest, most beautiful, coolest. And let's find out next time if it's the toughest Pikachu of all. So, 
With that, here we go. Congratulations, commemoration of your victory of, um, your, oh, in commemoration of the victory of your Pika in the Master Rank of the Cleverness Contest, I present to you this ribbon. So that we obtain the Cleverness Ribbon. Lottie of Suzu, we wish you and Pika even greater success. We look forward to seeing you again. Oh, by the way, someone seems to be waiting for you in the green room. Right over there. Okay. Oh, it's Chaz. It's me, Chaz, the uh, 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 awesome. <laughs> no Lizzie today. Too bad for you. But Trina to look so disappointed. Sheesh. Mamach, Machi. Guess it's too bad for you too, Mockery. You missed your chance to see Ollie, huh? Lizzie is spending her, all her time practicing moves with Ollie lately. She's waiting for you to win all the Master Rank contests. For you to become a real contest star. She says she wants to become even better than ever so she can do her best performance together with you. That's why she's trying so hard. She's practically never here anymore. She looks like she's having a lot of fun when she's practicing, though. I guess she wants to show you something that'll knock your socks off. Honestly, I really wanted it to be and wanted it to be me. But if you can't win all Master Rank contests, you'll never be able to stand toe to toe with Lysia. But you already know that, huh? Me? I'll never be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. Oh. Cheer up, Mockery. You're my sweet and adorable girl. And that's why I'll never, ever make you do a toughness contest. I can't make a cutie like you try to increase your toughness. No way! I'll still be the best rival for Alicia. But I'm not wrong about that. But it doesn't mean that. Well, uh, that you haven't got a part to play, too. So, um, you know... Just take this and give it your all. Mockery, could you open the box? So with that, we obtained a Paralyzed Heal. Okay. And a Moo Moo Milk. Alright. And a Wiki Berry. Lissy is not the type to care about beating somebody else or whatever. The point is that the contest lets you show off how fantastic your Pokémon are. Guess I'm saying, well, I'm behind you too. Jam, jam! Oh, wow, that's... that's nice. Thank you, Chaz. That's so kind of you. Wow, he, he, he definitely has changed a little bit. I guess he got over the whole thing with uh, jealousy or whatever. I don't know. That said... Pika, that was a really nice performance you did there. Pikachu PhD. But, of course, let's move on to the final one that Pikachu will have to do, because unlike Mockery, Pikachu is going to end up doing all five contests. So let's move on to the fighting one. Or the, sorry, the tough one, my bad. Tough. Pika happily changed his costume. There's Pikachu Libre. <laughs> so, Pika learned Flying Press. <laughs> That's a funny move for Pikachu to have, I must say. It really is. So, with that, yep, there's a portrait of Pika. Alright. Any good moves for Pika to learn right now? For the for the tough contests, because I think we want to go with um cool, clever, and tough. So cool is okay, clever is okay, tough is okay, but cute and beautiful we don't want. So. Thunderbolt is not a bad option for Pika to have, just to do some, just to get some hearts if necessary. Excites the audience of any kind of um, in any kind of contest. Well, that has got to be the most useless one for a fighting con um, contest because it can be used in any contest. As well, whatever. I guess I mean rest talking is not going to help us in that in the tough contest. It really won't. So get rid of that. Um, Dig could possibly be useful, but 
I don't see how. I have a feeling we're gonna have to go to strength, it's um possibly. I just get this bad feeling we're gonna have to go with strength. I really don't feel like having to go with an HM. But if that's our best option, then so be it. Hmm. I mean Rock Smash is the same deal. Basically, Rock Smash, Waterfall, and um, Strength are effectively the same exact move in contests. I mean, obviously we can't teach Pika Waterfall, but... I guess Pika's gonna have to learn Strength. Because it's pretty much the best um, tough move that Pika's gonna get. Hidden Power isn't great? But, it's, I mean, it's safe enough. Unless there is another cool move that we could teach Pika. Bolt Switch. Actually, I might just go with Bolt Switch instead of, um, instead of Hidden Power. Because it'll do pretty much just an extra heart. Which, you can't go wrong with, to be honest, with an extra heart. Just for free. The only difference you can't you can't use it two turns in a row. But once again, you have no reason to since it's. I mean, that was good for clever contests and possibly and also I guess somewhat for cute. But for this, not so much. And yellow scarf. So all right, give. Peak of the Elder Scrub. All right, that should help us out for the um, for the tough contest coming up. Hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. We will definitely see what happens from this. Um, then after the tough contest, I guess Pika might be able to get back her regular move set. We'll see what happens. Get some free stuff because it's free. Comet Shard. That's something that might be able to be sold. Um, that's always nice to get some free stuff. Walk and Berry. That's nice. You want to give me some stuff? The Beery Berry. I mean, this is a great way to get some berries. Just, I mean, in general, so you can do s get some more um, Poke Block. Shower Sable. Interesting. Passive berry. I think it's Sal that Shower Sable is like it's from Shower City, but you can't get it in Shower City, which is kind of funny. All right, whatever. Walking berry. All right, nice berries. I can't complain. I really can't complain. That said, uh, next time I guess you know what? I just want to check out very quickly if there are any tough moves that we can relearn. I mean, as it turns out, we didn't have to worry about Tail Whip. Or, um, Growl. And they won't- they wouldn't be helpful here anyway, so... Slam would be like- I guess would be like strength only forgettable. Wild Charge would actually be something good, but kinda dangerous. Really dangerous. And causes a hard scale. So, if things don't go well, maybe we'll go teach Pico Wild Charge and try again. But, that said, next time, I guess, it's all on. We got a competition, and we are. It's gonna be. This is gonna be it. I mean, I don't know, I think there's a few other things afterward, but for now, I mean, Pika has the coolness, beauty, cuteness, and cleverness Master Rank Ribbons, so next up is intuitively the final one, the toughness one, or the, well, the tough contest, in which case, we're gonna have four contests to enter, and we're gonna have to win. So, 
Thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time when we, with Pika, enter the tough contest in the Pokemon Contest Spectacular. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.